was sure that you were going to win. I mean, let me take you back to so that night. So was I. I know. <laughs> I know you were. We were so oh, joyous. I was talking yes. before about yeah. that night when anxiety started yeah. to get to me. Right. And, um, and I was positive you were going to win. Everyone was, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when they saw that you weren't, and we showed a picture. I went into mourning. I had a veil. A black <laughs> and I just, she I, they, did. She yeah. did. This is not I untrue. Did. This is a I had story. a veil. We were, people were crying. Yeah. Yeah. When, yeah. And then it was like at a certain moment, we were on the air. Mm -hmm. When I realized that you were not going to win, it was like, I felt like I had lost a friend or something. When did you actually connect that point that you were not going to win? Election night. Uh, wow. Was there something that happened? Yes. I mean, and I argue in the book, and I am uh, pleased that other independent uh, analysts have reached the same conclusion. I would have won but for Jim Comey's letter mm -hmm. on October the 28th. Now, People, people say, well, you know, but it was, you know, why would it have been so close? We have close elections. I mean, that is kind of the reality of our politics right now. Um, but that stopped my momentum, and it really did cause enough people to move away from me. Some of them moved to Trump, some moved to third parties, some didn't vote, uh, but the net effect was pretty clear. So. I thought that I had gotten through it. I knew it hurt. Mm -hmm. I got, had no illusions about that. But as you said, Joy, everybody, not just our analysis or our research, right. everybody was saying the same thing. Trump All himself of, thought you were going to win. His yeah. pollsters yeah. and he, because they were seeing the same information we were seeing. So yeah. it, was, it was a shock. I mean, I, I can't uh, describe it any other way uh, because what I thought was going to happen is we, it would be a close, hard-fought campaign, but I would win, and then I was really looking forward to and had thought a lot about what I would do. So it wasn't until that night that it really hit me when some of the results came in that were contrary to what we and everybody else thought. Did you cry? Did Bill cry? No. <laughs> we, did, we didn't cry that night, let me put it that way, um, because, first of all, I, I say in the book, and I write really painfully about what happened that, uh, that night, um, I, I felt like I had to, uh, you know, be strong for my family and my friends and my supporters, and I hadn't spent any time thinking about a concession speech, so I had to write one and then go oh, deliver it the next day, and it wasn't until that was over, and Bill and I got into the back seat of, you know, our car and began to drive that I just felt like, oh, you know, the adrenaline was just gone.